What's up, rabbits? Welcome back. Here are three things you can learn from Courtney DeWalter. Courtney is an American ultra marathon runner who has won many ultras around the world in astonishing fashion. She grew up in Hopkins, Minnesota and competed in track, cross country and Nordic skiing in high school and finished a master's at the University of Mississippi in 2010 to become a teacher. She worked as a middle and high school teacher in Denver before becoming a full time pro runner in 2017. I think one of the most amazing accomplishments she's had was winning the Moab 240, which is a 380 kilometer race and she beat the best man by 10 hours. She beat the best man by 10 hours. Now there's certainly a few things we can learn from her. Let's get into it. Number one, be comfortable. Courtney doesn't wear all the technical clothing that you see other runners wear on that level. Instead, she prefers her baggy basketball shorts. Who's this person in long shorts? And what is she doing at the top of the podium? <laughs> Number two, don't be too strict with your diet. Courtney doesn't leave out any particular food groups from her diet. Instead, she prefers a feeling-based approach to her training, meaning that when she gets up in the morning, she checks in with her body and decides what she wants to eat and how far she wants to run that day. What I'm craving, how my legs and mind are feeling, are taken into account each morning as I plan my runs and food for the day. This is much more flexible, it's much more enjoyable also, and, well, it works for her. Maybe it works for you. Try it out. Feeling-based training. I'm gonna make another video on that, by the way. Number three, embrace the pain cave. So the pain cave is kind of the dark places that you inevitably stumble into when you're running long distances. On the Rich Roll podcast last year, she stated that five years ago, she would try to avoid the pain cave as much as possible. She would dread it. And once she got there, her sole focus was to survive the pain cave. Now today, she's got a completely different mindset about it. And she actually looks forward to the pain cave during the race. Once she gets there, she celebrates it because she knows that that's where the work actually gets done. So basically, she's changing the storyline in her mind to trick the brain into good vibes and determination. And here's a little fun fact. When she's in the pain cave, she visualizes having a chisel and actually digging tunnels into her pain cave in her own mind, which is a bit crazy, but so is ultra running. I hope you learned something today. If you want to learn something from Killian Jornet or Elliot Kipchoge, you can click here or I'll see you in the next video.